Hi, I'm Alex, and this is my journal of a game that I'm creating called Omega Drifters. The name is based on an old video game I played back in 1989, where it was a robotic tank simulator. And uh, you could choose the loadout for your tank, but um, really what the game was about was writing a small program, a script, to control your robotic tank in the field. Um, and you'd write your code, you'd set it out onto the field, and then you'd fight um, a, uh, an enemy tank. And either you destroy it or you, it destroys you based on uh, how good your code is for it and the loadout of your tank, things like that. And um, I would love the idea of the game where you did some programming inside of a game itself to control the game's actions. I just thought it was a brilliant idea. Um, and so here we are in a modern era where we have AI now. And so I wanted to create a game that uses AI for uh, some of what I found so enjoyable about that old Omega game. And so the idea here is that you're mining planets and uh, it's a competitive game. There's a, an enemy, this will be a computer controlled NPC, but uh, maybe in the future, be head to head, I will see. And you give your robots instructions, but you can interact with them through chat or through voice. Uh, and they have their own personalities and you can help them establish a strategy for achieving the goal that you want them to achieve. So these are just some introductory screens. I have some basic HTML as a mock-up of what the game will look like. Uh, it's a program, Python uh, uh, development project. Uh, Python is new to me, so it's kind of an interesting learning process using uh, Python, Django, and uh, perhaps I'll use Node.js um, in the future, or if I add a graphical element, we'll see how that all works out. So here, next screen is on mission screen, tells you some of the conditions that you'll be in on uh, any given planet that you are going to mine, and also explain some things about the game, and I'll explain them just on the next screen. So this is the game panel, and you've got a few tabs here. Um, at the top, you have global entropy, and uh, this planet is radioactive, and so you'll accumulate entropy uh, the longer that you stay there. Your devices, your robots, your drones, your base ship will start to degrade over time. If you fill up this uh, meter, then uh, you're, you're trapped on the planet. You, you lost your session, basically. You can lift off at any time, but the goal of the game is to collect as many resources as you can before you do that. So you want to stay as long as you can without getting trapped. And there's also an enemy, as I may have mentioned. And so you all develop a strategy to either uh, just stick to your own resource uh, gathering, or perhaps you'll go on the offense, attack the enemy. It's, it's really up to you. Perhaps they'll attack you. So we have a few different resources, metals, rare earths, and uh, carbon fiber precursors. So you can build stuff with those resources if you want to, or you can just keep them and attempt to leave the planet with them. The base ship has a certain amount of energy production and can, based on that and the materials you have, can produce additional drones. So you've got robots. You've got three robots that you control. You set their strategy. And each of those robots has its own small fleet of drones it can use to accomplish some tasks. You can build additional drones if you'd like, so you can do more work, gather more resources, or uh, be more prepared for battle. You can use your, your resources and energy to upgrade your technology so the bots you're producing are uh, better. Um, your robots can scan more effectively. Uh, you can repair your robots more quickly. You're going to have three robots, uh, Frisky, Oppenox, and Vulcan. They'll all have their own personalities and characteristics. Um, Frisky is going to be fast moving, lightly armored, good for scouting, good for resource collection. Oppenox is your jack of all trades, master of none, and Vulcan is more uh, war oriented, heavier armor, slower moving, more resistant to entropy, etc. 
And uh, this is just a mock-up of what stats may be for this game. Um, this is not connected to any logic. It's just random choosing uh, random levels to display the functionality of the meters here. And there'll be a command console here where you can have a conversation with your robot. Of course, it's AI driven, so it's gonna be very good at having conversations. And with that conversation, you'll develop its uh, strategy with it to accomplish some goal, either prepare for war, defend the base, collect resources, scout the area, etc. As it's, uh, we have global entropy, which is basically how long you get to play. But each device will also accumulate its own uh, entropy. And if you send it out into the field, it may encounter higher levels of radiation that gets involved in warfare. Uh, it will collect more entropy. And as this increases, uh, it will start behaving more erratically, randomly changing its, uh, its objectives, its command, its strategy, its communication. And so uh, you'll need to get back to your uh, base ship in order to repair it and hopefully reduce some of that entropy so that it's still a functional unit for you in whatever strategy that you have. And uh, if you do scouting, well, then your enemy, you can determine what kinds of resources they've collected so far, uh, what technological advancements they may have made, are they building a bunch of warfare drones to go on the offense, et cetera. So that might inform your strategy as well if you choose to have one of your robots or multiple robots do some scouting for you. And that is basically the idea of the game. Um, I don't know that the inter interface will probably stay uh, with this sort of look of the old mainframe green screen CRT type of a display, which I think is uh, really enjoyable. I actually worked on those devices back in the day. And um, we'll see how it all goes over time. So this is my first uh, journal of my progress um, thus far. See you next time.